Hello everyone and welcome to another high elo game of Age of Empires today the man versus horse marathon Yes, that's a real thing has reached Arabia as Vivi playing as the Celts in red gets ready to take on Hera Playing as the Berbers in blue now while the players heard their herdables explore their immediate surroundings with duck duck goose And try to go up to feudal as fast as possible. Let's take a look at the Civ matchup we'll be watching today now the Celts are a civilization built for speed. Their lumberjacks work 15% faster, which does flow into their primary focus, siege. Celtic siege workshops work faster. Their siege units fire faster, and their siege unit work or siege workshop units rather can be upgraded to get 40% more HP. Now coming back to the need for speed, their infantry do move faster than normal starting in feudal age. Their castles and towers can be upgraded to attack faster, and their unique unit, the Woad Raider, is the second fastest infantry unit in the game and comes with a good amount of HP and a strong attack. In order to feed a hungry, growing population, the Celts can actually convert and steal enemy hurtables, even if they're standing right next to enemy units, so be careful. Hera, speaking of Hera, to the north, has the Berber in blue, a sieve that pushes its players into the four welcoming hooves, legs of cavalry. All Berber stable units are 15% cheaper in castle, 20% cheaper in imperial, which makes their hussars super duper trash units. Their camel units can be upgraded to regenerate health. Their castles can be upgraded to work faster, both of which strongly benefit their first unique unit, the camel archer. This is a mounted archer, the unit that comes with good amount of HP, great speed, and an attack bonus against cavalry archers, so not exactly expecting to see any camel archers this game, although you never know what to expect with players like this. Now, starting in Castle Age, the Berbers can also train a second unique unit, the Genitor. This is a mounted skirmisher that comes with more HP but less range and does cost a little bit more food because you have to buy a few oats for that horse that you're putting your skirmisher on. Now, to help your economy get up and running as fast as possible in the Dark Age, Berber villagers take a look Instead of the usual 0.8 movement speed, they move 5% faster at 0.84, and then feudal and onwards, they move 10% faster. Those are the two civilizations. These are the players, both off the back of 12 villagers, continuing to expand their settlements. Hera pushing deer. Vivi seems like he's already done pushing his deer. He is about to discover or take control of a few more geese, and then we'll see what he does. He is heading straight north. Right as I say that, of course, he has to stop. And right as I say he stops, he continues moving north. This is the curse of the caster. <laughs> In any event, let's take a look at the bases while the players continue hurting their hurtables and so forth. Primary gold for Hera, a little exposed in the front position, although a forest here might help him secure it. <gasps> Vivi, 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 we've seen so much of this lately. Why are players teething each other's food sources? Not exactly uh, gentlemen -y gentlemanly conduct unless you believe that all is fair in love and war in any event here is primary stone to the back a few secondary patches of gold one far left one far right and one far forward right next to a secondary stone pile vivi where is his gold nice and secure in the back primary stone in an upside down t-shape is a little exposed so we'll see what our kelp does with this Secondary gold all the way to the side and then a few more additional patches of resources off campus in terms of forests He is completely open to the north Vivi Although the sides of his base should be easy to wall off and this forest does extend to the edge of the known world Hera for his part has a bit of an easier wall off to the front position and sides also to the right Not too terrible, but to the left has he explored all of this has he seen no he hasn't so I Based on what he knows and what we see, to be honest, this is a completely open map to the left here. And now Hera having researched Loom is clicking up to Feudal Age off the back of one extra villager, which explains why he's about 30 seconds behind his opponent, and he is also housed at the moment. Let's take a look, and here we go. Okay, so Vivi opting... Has he seen the forest and that it extends? Yeah, so I wonder why he's opting to take such a very narrow corridor here i guess opting for a bit of a funnel as opposed to a full wall off why is there one random palisade a little bit forward here a little creating a little bit of a nook in any minute, we will find out more villagers moving to wood more villagers moving to stone and three militias do move forward what does Hera have to deal with this absolutely nothing he is still 
about 25, 30 seconds behind his opponent, who will reach Feudal Age in the next 10 seconds. And then we'll see what VVR Kelt decides to do. Remember, these units are going to start moving faster. Take a look at the bottom. 0 0.9 becomes 1.03 tiles. A 15% increase in speed for all Celtic infantry units starting in Feudal Age. And he makes it here before Hera completes his wall off or funnel or anything, to be honest. Not too sure Hera should be engaging into this. But he knows there's a town center nearby. He knows that these uh, men and militias, not yet men at arms. I don't see that upgrade. He knows they're not really going to accomplish much. And now especially they're not going to accomplish much if they have to go through a town center fire. Although with only four villagers here, maybe a bit of town center fire is not exactly the end of the world. Hera brings home his scout as well to help defend this. Has he seen where his opponent is? He has not, but he's seen this. A pile of five stone he knows it's in this general vicinity. He knows it's not to the left, which means it is to the right. And so knowing that he brings back his scout, there's no more use for him. I mean, there's always use for a scout and scouting, but now that he knows the general area, he uh, prioritizes dealing with the pressure back home, which to be honest, is not that great of a pressure or not that great of an amount of pressure by our Celt. Both players sitting on the same villager count. Our Kelt has a little bit of an army lead, has thrown in a Spearman. Where are you? You are also in the very aggressive forward position. Our Berber. Remember, their discounts on their stable units kick in in Castle Age, so not exactly very useful right now in Feudal. And there is that Man-at-Arms upgrade for these three militias. No upgrades military for either player. Both players getting the double bit axe. They want their Lumberjacks, Jack and Lumber, faster, more efficiently. I thought for a second uh, I, I, this villager was throwing seeds at the bamboo, <laughs> but nope. And for all that Vivi is here, for all that Vivi is putting on, uh, let's say putting on in quotation marks pressure, not really accomplishing much with these... Uh, with these kind of HP weak units, 45 HP means that this town center is going to absolutely wreck these units if they even step beyond this blue line. Also, villagers with loom, not terrible against these units at the moment, but we've got a cavalry engage. First kill of the game goes to Hera here as he slaughters a scout, but he loses a villager himself. Finally has a skirmisher of his own out. Town center is firing on these men at arms two kills a piece but our Celt has got two villagers and that's it that's basically all she wrote <laughs> spearman with 8 hp is all that is left of vivi's entire army our Celt, what is he going on what is going on in his base sorry market stable are going up for him our berber we saw the archery range or at least we saw the skirmisher coming out of the archery range where is his secondary structure? What am I missing there? All right, the stable that he plopped down much, much earlier to create a funnel here for those militias at the time. Now he's heading home, but oh no, Tony the tiger is hot on his heels as you uh, go after the horse. If you're a tiger, easier prey. That horse will not fight back. And now Hera, safe and secure at home, knows that he can take a minute. Oh my God, look at this. Look at this attempt here by Vivi. <laughs> Beautiful! I did not think Hera would take any damage there whatsoever. Instead, he loses a scout. Beautiful moves out of our Celt. Also didn't lose a single villager yet. Or at all. Where are they? Oh, their HP is here. They are idle. They are just hanging out. Hera's got to be careful. These uh, scouts are not exactly tanky. He loses another one. Who got the kill? Was it the Spearman? No, the Spearman didn't get the kill. Not this villager. It's you. You with the pickaxe, got the kill. So Hera, and now he's trapped in here temporarily. Oh no, the HP on these scouts. That town center is gonna have a field day if they decide to run through it. Go oh, get Garrison, 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 Garrison. BB missing an opportunity here. BB. Okay, Garrison's. Ooh, but doesn't look like he garrisoned enough to be able to one-shot these scouts. This has a uh, the distinct smell of uh, distraction here. What is Hera doing in the back of this? 500 food, 60 gold, getting a market up of for himself as well. And again, he moves in here. Does he want to exit here or does he want Vivi to just 
lose farming time. Beautiful splits out of our Berber who manages to save these two scouts. But, I mean, save them for what? Their HP combined is 15. Oh, but look at this. He catches our Kelt on the move out. And our Kelt is 30 seconds away. He is 30 seconds away from Castle. This has Hoang vibes written all over it. Hitting Castle right as a bunch of villagers make it across the map. Man, these pro players and their insane sense of timing. I mean, six seconds away by the time these villagers get to where they want to go to build whatever they want to build, which, I mean, I'm assuming is a... Okay, I was going to say a siege workshop, but... No, maybe not. Maybe not. Not yet. Not yet. Blacksmith going up here at home. But Monastery is being built. But as I mentioned, the, the sense of timing on these on these pro players or of these pro players is just absolutely ridiculous. And there it is. So, again, Huang vibes here at Avivi Arkelt. Let's see if he'll be able to push into our Berber, who, by the way, has seen <laughs> not only with these houses, but with the fantastic scouting of Skirmisher and Scout, has seen all of this, and Vivi's got nothing to do with these four villagers, so might as well just attack these Palisades. Why the hell not? Hera still 30 seconds away, but he knows he's safe. He knows there's not much he can do unless the Monk. What a beautiful play out of Vivi. Wow. Now that is something we do not generally see out of Huang. This is a bit of a Vivi twist. You know, he he ordered the, the Huang cocktail, but he threw in a little bit of twist of uh, Vivi wow making sure the secondary wall off did not go up vivi making all the right moves so far and he's in my goodness by the way that monk is also going to nullify the knight that Hera is producing but uh oh uh oh uh oh gotta be careful spearman way out of position monk is gone but it's okay he's training another one it'll be out here in a matter of seconds is he gonna go after the Magnal, oh my god, what a beautiful shot out of Vivi. Oh, but second attack round gets more of his own units than, than Hera's. And Vivi's here. Houses are down. Stable is down. Barracks about to go down. Manganel, where are you going? Where are you going, villager? No! You are going underneath the town center, but luckily for you, Hera is not paying attention. And if he, even if he was, he garrisoned one skirmisher and two villagers in here. Vivi is making his presence known. Zero villagers on stone, so we're not going to see a castle drop anytime soon. He is down two villagers. He's ahead for army count. And he manages to catch the mangonel that Hera built, but it does cost him a knight, maybe two. No pathing in this game. <laughs> bye bye, knight. Bye bye, knight? Bye bye, knight? Yeah, bye bye, knight. But two. Light cab pay the price. The attack rounds out of the mangonels are absolutely fantastic. And now they're going after what? They're going after the scout again. One more whack. And remember, these guys come with a plus 10, I believe, attack bonus against monks, which just makes them absolute monk snipers. And Vivi, Vivi is slowing down a little bit. Might want to add a barracks here, to be honest. I mean, he's... Whoa, 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 whoa. You've got three army supply. You've got two spearmen and a knight just hanging out. Move them forward. A fourth unit, another knight moving forward. What is going on with these guys? What are they doing? What do they see? What? What is it like PTSD? They're just frozen. They do not want to go back to the front. But I see them moving now. Okay, finally, Vivi notices. So he's cleared out Hera's primary gold. Completely nullified. Has Vivi seen the secondary gold is my question. Yes, he has. So he might want to start putting on some aggression there. Two knights for a mangonel. Let's see if he manages to get them. Yes, he does. The same time an attempt by Hera to get Vivi's mangonel fails, which means that Vivi still has his two original mangonel seven kills. Three of them friendly. Ooh, not the greatest of ratios. Where is the monk for our Celt? Oh, there he is. <laughs> thank goodness there's the barracks thank goodness for the oh he kills his own spearman i'm gonna finish my sentence thank goodness for the developers of the game adding in these shadows but uh oh uh oh the shadows also mean that hair is gonna be able to see why didn't he kill the why didn't he kill the monk was he afraid 
and another attack round gets his own units at the same time loses the Magnum. Vivi's attack is just falling apart here, although he is still ahead. Double the army count. Will he lose another monk? Oh my god. So that is all she wrote for the aggression momentarily. What will Hera do with the scout? Will he go and try to intercept reinforcements? Will he see? Oh my god, look at this villager. Look at the balls on this villager. Oh my goodness. What the hell? And why the hell didn't Hera engage into that? Why didn't he fight back? Why were you so scared of that one villager? How many villagers does Huang have left here? Only two. Two of his original four have died. Never mind, one has died. A third one mining gold here. How much gold is she carrying? Two ingots of gold. Okay, now she dies, which makes my sentence from about 30 seconds ago accurate. Hera is holding here fantastically. Vivi, attack, has fallen apart entirely. What is he doing? Two monks, three spearmen, a knight, and three mangonels. So he's gone. He's forgone the battering rams. He says, you know what? Up close and personal, nah, that's for someone else. I prefer to throw a whole bunch of heavy rocks at you from afar. Where are you going? First shot misses. Two monks here. Second shot misses. Spearman and a knight will be able to help out here. Another bad attack round. Did he? I think he lost one. Yeah, he lost one of the monks. I see the uh, the crook melting into the sands. Three mangonels. You can't really tell. Well, you can when they move. What a weird, uh, lately I've noticed with this game, I've mentioned this before, the units stacking on one another is just absolutely crazy. Hera must be wondering, hey, wait a second, I killed your Mangonel. Why did another one spawn right where it is? Oh yeah, Vivi replies and kills two monks of his own, but Hera's here. Bye, bye Mangonel. And yet again, oh, <laughs> the knight was not expecting that. What an absolute bloodbath of a game so far. I mean, we're 30 minutes in, only 38, 35 kills, but it is tit for tat between these two players. Holy moly. Five kills for this light cab, one of them economic. He's going to see the gold, but Vivi not taking advantage of having taken Hera off this gold. Both players firmly ensconced in Castle Age, neither player banking any resources to speak of, basically spending every single resource they have. And the assault continues, the Mangonel takes a bit of a break, finally builds a palisade between these houses, might want to build one beneath this house as well. Ooh, an attack round misses, or rather is unable to kill. Beautiful! Beautiful, mutually assured destruction here. And that's what I was talking about. Put a palisade wall here. Converts the light cab. And now look at army count. 12 army count to three. Monk and the skirmisher. Is he still in here? No, he is not. Where the hell's uh, Harris skirmisher from days gone by in feudal age? There he is, a completely unupgraded, is afraid behind a whole bunch of villagers, expecting them to save him. Are, by the way, are there any villagers left alive? One villager, where are you? Oh, you are here with the house. And look at the villager count, though. 55 to 67. Hera. One town center. Two town center. Uh, 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 three town center. That was the count from uh, Sesame Street. But look at Vivi's infrastructure here. He has made himself at home. But he is not able to protect these monks good enough. This is just atrocious. He is losing way more than he should. Now the Mangonels, two attacking the Siege Workshop, one attacking the Stable, exactly. Bring the third one, attack the Siege Workshop as well. Get rid of your opponent's ability to counter your most powerful unit. Back home, Vivi is going up to a second town center himself. He's down 12 villagers. But again, the monks are left alone. You've got so many spearmen. They're running circles. They're just... You're just kind of running around. I don't understand why Vivi is not protecting his monks better. Third town center coming under attack. Every single volley of these guys takes about 300 HP off of this town center. Hera does not have the resources needed to repair this endlessly. 
monk is being chased what the, what the hell was that what the hell was that yet again gets his own units does vivi but manages to snipe his opponent's monk and now hera has got enough stone for a castle vivi two villagers on stone 80 stone for himself only but he's got five mangonels here they are going to be able to absolutely destroy these buildings in a matter of seconds but you've got to be so careful come on place your spearmen a little bit better and now there's a bit of a clock on Vivi now that the castle is up and it's up on the high ground he had six mangonels he is now down to five he is not producing anymore has he seen any of this he will now I mean look at Hera's base Hera's been knocked off his primary town center his monastery his siege workshop his stable two stables a barracks a innumerable number of houses can you say innumerable number of houses if it's innumerable how can there be a number of houses right anyway i leave that to little to the cunning linguists out there market is going this is a very juicy very lucrative target you need to be oh god <laughs> you need to be able to stop your opponent from balancing his economy where are the villagers for vivi another mangonel down six has become three three will become two if he's not careful spearman will be pike again vivi kills more of his own units oh my god two more why oh why these pikemen look up to the sky these spearmen they're not even pikemen yet if they were pikemen probably could have taken one of those volleys no <laughs> oh vivi what the hell are you doing what the hell are you doing vivi is vivi's own worst enemy oh my god i'm trying not to scream into the microphone right now oh that is so disgusting seven kills six of them friendly i mean that is just disgusting but does our celt care he's got one extra two extra three extra town centers of his own but hera is still here hera is still alive he's down about 20 percent in score Vivi has stopped producing his siege units. He is going for economic upgrades at the moment. Hera expanding back to the gold, seeing that there's nothing here that Vivi is throwing at them, seeing that Vivi has pivoted to the right side of the map and not a bad pivot, to be honest. If the castle's there, leave it there. Vivi loses another monk, finally brings four villagers forward. Not too sure what this is for. He's got 200 stone only. Yes, one probably to repair. Why are you building a house repair? He's got one HP. Okay, there you go. Remember, these mangonels. Oh, he loses two mangonels for nothing. And I was going to point out their firing speed. Instead of the six, it's 4.5, I believe, or 4.6. We'll take a look when one pops out. But now Vivi is on the full retreat here. He does not have any units left in the forward position except one pikeman with 8 HP who is taking on an attack round from this Berber mangonel. I don't know if you guys heard, there is a truck outside. Oh, goodness gracious. I yeah, I should just uh, become a night owl and start casting at like 3 in the morning when it's completely quiet and there's no trucks making deliveries and honking and, and doing whatever else the hell they do to piss me off in the middle of the day. Oh, he's going to finish this outpost right in his five. This is literally the opening cinematic of Age of Empires, except instead of setting up a trebuchet, they are setting up an outpost, and out of nowhere come a few light cab. But Vivi is 100 stone away from a castle. He is here. He's bringing more villagers. Hera knows exactly why these villagers are here. They are not here on sabbatical. But man, oh man, what an incredibly defensive castle. What a missed opportunity to place the castle here, perhaps, to nullify this gold, here to secure the gold, here to nullify, or here, the town, not here, sorry, here to nullify the town center. Has Vivi seen this gold? No, he has not. So he has no clue that Hera right now is full on booming his economy, and Hera must be happy as a clam. He is no longer a hidden villager. Count, but he's gonna get two more mangonels another shitty attack round out of vivi another shitty attack round out of vivi and hera would be happy all the live long day he's in castle age that means these hussars these light cav rather are all 15 percent cheaper to trade out 
light cavalry and hey, for a manganelli cat he shoots his own units vivi by the way he's got these palisades here so he does have the vision this is very sour for vivi not getting rid of these palisades gives your opponent a little bit of vision not that much where are these villagers going now another castle okay perfectly placed this time Hera with a very defensive castle to the south of here, though. And Hera has been breached. His ooey gooey center is open. But he's just pushed back like one of those uh, bags that's full of uh, those rubbery liquids. You know, like a beanie, not a beanie bag, uh, like those stress relief toys. Those squeezy toys. If you squeeze it in the middle, it pops out the sides. Hera has just expanded northwest. He's expanded south, southeast. He sees this castle going up. He tries to stop it with a few villagers of his own. But too few villagers here. And now he's just escaping to the north. Wode Raiders are starting to show up. They are missing. Oh, they're missing the Mangonel, which in turn takes a bunch of HP off of them with a perfect attack round. Now our Berber is returning the favor. He is raiding. But there's already a pikeman here. The town center is going to add a good amount of arrows. And Hera is in Imperial. Where, oh, where will he build trebuchets out of? This one or this one? He's got the wood for it. He's got the gold for it. And I said we're probably not going to see camel archers. So, of course, Hera. <laughs> A few weeks. Or when was this game played? I'm not too sure. Whenever it was played in the past, decides, hey, I'm going to prove you wrong. Okay, World Raiders are continuing to raid. Their base stats are pretty decent. Good amount of HP. I hear the clanging of a Manganel, so Vivi is taking out this town center. Unfortunately for him, this town center is just abandoned. It's a shanty town. This is Deadwood, South Dakota right now. The only thing left would be to build a market and make a casino, and that's basically it. Maybe, uh, maybe Mount Rushmore? But anyway, it is very much a dead town. A castle on the high ground. Should it reach this castle? I'm not too sure treb out of here where did he build his treb out of he built it out of the central castle because he wants to get rid of this infrastructure you know why because he wants this gold our berber wants that gold asap he does not want to keep building light cap to fight these woad raiders because they are just going to absolutely destroy those light cab as they're destroying oh my god what a cemetery over here these woads have created how many kills for them 10 kills all 10 or uh, well, rather all but one are economic and Vivi here has a choice to make, although it's not really a choice. Does he double down in castle or does he completely cease all aggression and go up to Imperial? And why do I say it's not a choice? Look at his resources. Sub 100 food, 200 gold. World Raiders are being trained, but they're going in one at a time. I think you can get the Treb at this point, to be honest. Yeah, you've got six World Raiders. It should be enough to get the Treb. The castle has been kind of uh, delayed for a little while. Why is Vivi hesitating? Once the second castle goes up, it's going to be much, much harder to get this, uh, this trebuchet. And look at Hera. <laughs> 35 villagers building a castle. 35 villagers building a castle. Market re-established. And all of Vivi's aggression is over. He's got more army supply. He's got a pike probably at home. He's got... Oh my god, you're repairing this castle. What a waste of stone. What an absolute waste of stone. Loses his barracks. Loses his castle. Light cab are raiding a group of eight of them. They are going to find this battering ram if he's paying attention. Let's see. Yeah, he sees the tip of the battering ram. He's going straight for it, or maybe not. Maybe not. Sees the middle of the road castle. In the meantime, by the way, Vivi has expanded in the very much forward direction which is a good thing for him, but also a good thing for Hera. It means less uh, distance to travel in order to slaughter these villagers. And here we go. He's going to be as annoying as he possibly can, splitting up his light cab upgrades on them, plus one, plus two. At the same time, Wood Raiders taking down probably the least important structure they could be targeting. <sighs> There's a treb on fire. Take it down. It's uh, By the way, the treb, both trebs are outside the protection of the castle. These are juicy targets. Will he get it? He's got one Wode Raider here. 
it will not be enough not when there's a bunch of villagers repairing this although it looks like oh never mind he Hera realizing he's moved a little bit too forward what is this why did he why is he unpacking it here oh that's very sour Vivi missing a, an opportunity there maybe he's focused over here and killing villagers He's now ahead in villager count and army count, but he's housed at 165 and he's going up to Imperial. Let me know in the comments, should he have gone Imperial or should he have used those 1800 resources to just produce a shiitake mushroom ton of Wode Raiders out of one, two, three castles and just swarmed his opponent. I mean, Wode Raiders eat buildings. They eat everything. Wode Raiders, such a powerful unit. That being said, now that hand cannoneers are out with their plus 10 attack bonus against infantry, we'll see how well road raiders actually do. But Hera, Hera fights back. Is there a new king of holds? Is Has Mr. Yo been dethroned by our blue Berber over here with his twin castles, his farming community? He's mined out the gold. He's mined out the stone. He's destroyed this town center. He's even attacking the road raider. Oh, my God insult to injury if only this was a warwolf treb misses a second time a big puff of smoke fiery ball this one should get it no no <laughs> that was so close i know there's so much going on on the screen but my eyes are glued to this oh my god what absolute dog shit accuracy okay will this one get it yeah it looks like it oh my god it misses again at the same time wodes are rating upgrades plus two plus two Looks like another volley missed, and now he's in Imperial as well, is our Celt. There we go. Goodbye, red and white striped barber pantaloons. But look at the numbers now. 47 army count to 29, 134 villagers to 130. Elite Wode Raiders are on the way, but he's only got he's only got nine of them. He's out of gold, is uh, Vivi. He's got one pile of gold left and only 19. Where are the others? Six. Okay, they're over here. Ooh, build build another mining camp on the other side. Make it a little bit more efficient. He is raiding. He is killing as much as he can. But Hera, look at the pivoting out of our Celt. Has survived, and now our Berber says, hey, we like horsey units. So I'm just going to build a whole bunch of stables, and I'm just going to swarm over you. Especially since this castle is going to go down. I know it's on the high ground, but it is going up against what? Six, five <laughs> trebuchets. What the hell do you do against five trebuchets? What the hell do you do against so much light cav raiding? Uh, definitely not this. The Berber camel archers, one kill already, zero economic. Just got their first economic kill. And that's it. I mean, I'm assuming that's it. The Celtic base is completely open. He's under attack by gunpowder units. He's under attack by lightning fast light cab. He's going up to 38 pikemen. Where is he going to place them? By the way, where the hell even are they? Why are they here? Why the hell are your pikemen over here? I mean, I guess they can't really engage into these hand cannoneers, especially not one at a time or two at a time like they're doing now. And man, these giant death dealers, these trebuchets on the high ground are just going to have an absolute field day. Fiery balls descending from heaven to absolutely destroy <laughs> anything and everything in their path. Halberdiers, few of them do move back. A few more chasing villagers straight into castle fire. I don't know if Vivi's paying attention. He's got one windmill here. Oh. He's got... Okay, this is good. He, I guess Hera hasn't discovered this. Hasn't even seen this part of the map yet. But the more important question is, how the hell does our Celt plan on addressing these hand cannoneers? Ooh, I guess he's planning on addressing them by GGing. What an absolutely epic game. Holy moly. First of all, let's go back in time and rewind like Ace Ventura. To the beginning here, Vivi with the insane pressure knocked Hera's primary town center off base. I love the addition of the monk. Now, here's my question. Do we think he put down the monastery first because he didn't have the prereq for the siege workshop? Or was that all part of the plan to get one monk out so that Hera couldn't build a secondary wall off? Because the use of the monk 
to shoot away the villagers absolutely epic i mean look he could have probably also used archer units uh, who's kidding who are skirmishers but the use of the monk was just a like a chef kiss chef's kiss but after that man oh man i think vivi's mangonels killed more of vivi's own units than they did of our celt of our berber rather and here we go 20 percent cheaper hussars are out on the field and beyond that initial attack, beyond that insanely good amount of pressure out of Vivi, his attack just kind of stalled. I wonder why. You know, Age of Empire is still very, uh, you know, there's still people behind. Maybe he got demoralized. Maybe he thought, oh, I, I didn't win right away, so I might I might as well just kind of uh, tap out. But he, he stayed around. He tried to put on more aggression. I love when he pivoted east, when he saw that there was an additional colony over here i love the placement of his castle i thought he would place it here maybe but here was just as good unfortunately for him he, i don't think he expected era to plop down no fewer than two castles and then the world raiders just were not getting anything done two kills for these guys military kills not even civilian and at the end of the day it's our berber with 132 villagers who manages to just overwhelm our celt in a fantastic display of resiliency and like i said do we have a new king of holds here that was absolutely epic out of both players. I love the attack. I love the defense. Halberdier for the most of the game were what? Spearman and Pike. These guys for most of the game were light cab. PKPM for Hera. Hmm, a little lower than usual. The earlier stages of the game. And uh, basically at the same, no, uh, roughly five minutes apart. Very, very relaxed game for Vivi. Economy wise, what do we think? Yeah, look at this identical. Four relics. Four relics. <laughs> so both players exchanging relics and our Berber with the trash resources, our Celt with the scarcer resources. I mean, this is a problem. This is 5,000 gold that you let your opponent mine in an extra castle's worth. Let's see, conversions, seven. I wonder if there's ever a uh, going to be a stat for self-kills. And we can see how many uh, of his own units Vivi killed with his mangonels. But man, oh man, what an absolutely fun game. Like I said, Vivi tried to Huang, Hera, and Hera held. Despite Vivi's little, uh, like I said, a little twist with that monk to shoot away the villagers. And after he held, like a stress ball, he just expanded, like I said, northwest, southeast, gobbled up resources. Vivi, I'm, I'm assuming at this point, has seen this, this part of the map, so he knew there were resources here. He knew that there was gold here, that there was gold here. So he knew where to apply pressure. But his attack, just like I said, just kind of stalled after a, a good 10 minutes. Maybe he just got so demoralized from hitting his own units so much that he just said, ah, shite, sh <laughs> shucks. I don't know what I, what I can do here. But in any event, with the hold, we have perhaps a contender for a new king of holds. Hera is victorious, but GG to both players. Did you enjoy this video? Check out these other clips and make sure to subscribe and enable notifications so that you're notified of my latest uploads.